The Union Canal, once a major industrial highway, now provides a much-loved green corridor into Edinburgh from the west, always busy with walkers, cyclists, boats and wildlife. Today the canal terminates at Edinburgh Quay, just south of Fountainbridge, but this wasn't always the case. Originally it continued further into the city centre, and terminated at a large basin known as Port Hopeton, next to Lothian Road. Later a second large basin, Port Hamilton, was added to handle coal traffic. These basins existed until 1922, when they were filled in. Let's take a tour around the basins and see how they might have looked before they were closed. You might recognise this first bridge. This is the Leamington Lift Bridge, an electrically operated steel lifting bridge. It originally stood at Fountain Bridge, but was moved around the corner to Gilmore Park, where it still stands today, when the canal was truncated. The canal curved to the east behind the buildings on Fountain Bridge. The building on the right with the distinctive brick tower still stands today, but its surroundings are unrecognisable. On the north of the canal is the entrance to Port Hamilton. We'll be back for a closer look at that later. This wooden drawbridge carried Semple Street across the canal, just at the entrance to Port Hopeton. There were several of these bridges at the Edinburgh end of the canal, but none survived today. Port Hopeton occupied the block between Semple Street, Lothian Road, Fountain Bridge and Morrison Street. Its most striking feature was the large warehouse that projected out into the water. At the northeast corner was a large house called Hopeton House. There were also various shacks and sheds. None of the buildings that surrounded the basin survive today. The Lothian Road frontage is now occupied by Lothian House. There's a plaque on the wall commemorating Port Hopeton. Now let's head back out and see Port Hamilton. This long, narrow basin was added to handle the coal barges, since Port Hopeton was getting too busy. It was named after the Duke of Hamilton. Like Port Hopeton, it was surrounded by a ramshackle collection of huts. There is no trace of Port Hamilton today, but its name survives in one of the modern streets. I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at the history of Edinburgh's canal. I certainly enjoyed making this. If you have any suggestions for other historical places you'd like me to model, please leave a comment below. Thanks, and I'll hopefully see you soon.